Hello there, Stefan and Martin here from Schildwache Potsdam. Today again for you to talk about Tempi. Opportune moments to strike your opponent while being safe yourself. So today's tempo of Giovanni della Gocchia is when the opponent's blow passed outside of your body. There's an opportune moment, a tempo to strike your opponent and being safe. So what could this mean? Well, of course, the thing that directly comes to mind if the opponent swings just wild, okay? Even if he's out of measure, there's an opportune moment after there. Or even if I take a little step back to void this blow, Stefan throwing a full blow, a committed blow, swings wide, gets into a really disadvantageous position in this case, and opens himself wide up for a strike from myself, but also, once again, um, makes it hard for himself to go for a second motion towards my body, okay? So, especially if he goes really wide, it's really easy to cover anything here uh, that could come after. But also, if he cuts narrow, once again, it's hard to stop the blow and then redirect it, right? It takes longer to stop and redirect compared to just directing the blade. Okay, so let's look at this really in detail. Let's get into a diagonal perspective. When Stefan tries to strike me with a full blow, well, I could try to just body void this, okay? It passes outside of my body. I know Stefan is a really committed fencer. He really wants to strike through me. Not really nice in the HEMA context. But that also means that he gets into overcommitted positions. Okay? And I can use that motion to disengage, let the blow pass, and strike him in the meantime. Not only strike, but I could also, of course, thrust. Yeah? But I want to make it clear that this moment also occurs in a much narrower fashion. For example, when Stefan tries to try to deploy his sword in the central space between us to exert some kind of control, but he does so with a committed blow. That blow is not directly threatening myself. It is really committed tempo, so it's an action that I can use to strike him while he does that first motion. Okay, so how could this look? For example, I have my sword here and Stefan's plan is to strike my sword out of the way to then, for example, thrust me. Okay, so this kind of idea. Well, that first motion isn't threatening me per se, so I can just void it and strike towards the opponent on the other side. I could even thrust on the other side. So here we have, let's do this slow, a little disengagement and a thrust on the other side, which closes out the opponent. So let's see this on the diagonal as well. So the plan, Stefan clears my blade and thrusts me. The first motion isn't directed towards my body, it passes outside of my Vita, it go, just goes to my sword. So I can just avoid it, strike, and maybe even cover myself afterwards. You should always cover the afterblow, of course. Or I thrust on the other line. Let's do it slow once again. I drop the point, re-engage on the other line, and close Stefan out on the outside line. Okay? So it's really important, really important to remember that any motion that you take with a measure that doesn't threaten your opponent is a moment for your opponent to attack you. So really pay attention to this. Don't make wide committed motions that are not threatening towards the opponent, that doesn't give you an immediate advantage, but instead can be exploited, okay? Also pay attention of these, uh, to these motions in your opponent because then you'll be able to exploit them yourself. Okay, for now, we hope you enjoyed this video. Take care and ciao.